What's up guys, Capital Equals here, <clears throat> and I'm bringing you a discussion video. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the popular deck that just made big recently called Heroes. Um, yeah, so ba basically I'll just talk a bit about it and and why I think they're gonna get hit by the ban list next, next September, this September, yeah, and why they're gonna be top tier. Uh, just these cards in front of me, don't mind them, I just like having some stuff to fiddle around with uh, whilst I'm talking so I don't get too bored. Alright, so I was talking about Heroes in the past so you can get some background information. So Heroes, obviously, as you all know, were like Jaden's main deck and they got a lot of publicity from the anime and they also got a lot of support due to this uh, because they were so popular, they're much like Junks, Junk Synchro and all that. They got a lot of support because of the main character's deck, and likewise, Heroes did get a lot of support. Um, but they only started becoming amazing and really competitive when Neo's Alias came out. Uh, because Neo's Alias, it's a 1900 beta, it can be Gemini Spark, it can be Search through Rhoda, Stratos, it can be Hero Blasted because it's a normal monster in a graveyard. It's pretty much the most support, and it can be, you can use Honest with it because it's light. It was basically the best card in Heroes because it's got so much support. And uh, so basically when that came out along with other cards like Gemini Spark, um, it was pretty it was pretty pretty good, competitive I'd say. But towards the end of the GX era uh, and near the beginning of Synchros, uh, I think it kinda died down. There was the people who still ran it, like like I said, this deck's been run from like the beginning of it was since its de debut and it's still running, but once Synchros started coming out, people favored theirs, those more. Like we are favoring XTs now, and they kind of died down. So gradually, near the middle, I'd say middle to late Synchro time, before XTs, but near the middle to late, it, Heroes started getting more publicity again. Near the Monarch era, like Monarchs, Frog Monarchs and they started being played again and uh, yeah I guess people start liking it and then like towards the end of the XTs era no to the, towards the beginning of the XTs era they start to die down again but not as much as the first time so like I ran Heroes uh, in November I think like in winter last year I started running them I had a full deck you can check out my profile but I sold that recently and uh, at the time, I didn't see too much potential because I only played once or twice. My main deck was Gladiator Beasts, but I had to admit um, they could they were very versatile. But at the time, Dark Worlds were the main deck, and I could not super poly for the life of me because the dark the dark uh, fusion wasn't out. But anyway, towards the XZ's era, uh, heroes kind of died down. But now we're well in, I'd say, well into the XZ's era, and um, I guess heroes have gone up significantly. The reason be being, like, Shining was re reprinted, uh, Raw Pack, Legendary Collection, you can pretty much make a budget hero deck in a very short period of time. And the variants, like, the amount of variants you see are so broad, like, if you check out Crow Cresta's channel, you see so many different variants, Future, F Fusion Gate, um, the G G Gemini Sparks, Hero Beat, Miracles, uh, some even run Instant Fusion, no, no, sorry, um, some run, whatever. Well, basically, yeah, Heroes have got a lot of support, and I even recently I found uh, this card called Miracle Contact. It's basically Miracle Fusion for the Neos cards, if you remember Neos. Uh, Grand Mole, all that stuff. So you see, you there's gonna be no short of which of heroes. So they're like the budget deck. They're like anti meta Okay, so that's the past. That's that's heroes in the past. I want to talk about heroes in the present right now. Like I said, they got so many reprints uh, in the form of legendary collections, raw packs, tins. Um, stuff that was hard to get, like Shining, Stratos, Ocean, like they. They pretty much all came out, like Gaia, Absolute Zero. You can build a deck pretty easily now. Um, only hard thing to get would probably be like Nova Master. And that's not even essential to the deck. 
Uh, right now, they've been topping a lot. Bubble Man Beat, I want to talk about that. Uh, Bubble Man Beat, I don't really... I don't really like it that much because I don't see it as an amazing build. I know it, I know it's very good, but I don't. Ju I just don't really like it because I like to run a lot of heroes and I li like to have access to all of my um, elemental monsters. And the, oh yeah, Super Poly. Uh, that reprint. This is the biggest reprint I think for heroes. So basically, Hero Super Poly is an unnegatable mind control miracle fusion thing. So basically, you take your monster, they can't negate it, you discard a card, which is a small cost, and you get to make your own monster. And what's good about this is they can negate it, and it can be used with so many different monsters. So they play Agents or Light Swarm, make a Shining. They play Frogs for whatever strange reason. You can make a you can make it Absolute Zero. They play Windups, take their... Magician make a or Zen mains make a I think it was Nova Monster, yeah. If they play wind monsters, just make a great tornado and so on. And as soon as that dark monster comes out, you can make dark worlds with insectors. And okay, so I wanna talk about Yeah, where was I? Okay, Super Poly. Yeah. So Super Poly is a really big, big card. And um, this is gonna link to the hero's future, which I think is, I think they're gonna get hit. I think Super Poly is gonna get hit, or Miracle Fusion is gonna get hit. Um, a lot of you will oppose me to this, but every deck, if you look in the past, every uh, a lot of decks. I can't say every deck. I'm sorry, but most decks that get hit by a ban list have a card that is is so broken that it has to be run and freeze. And if you run and freeze. You're screwed. Like the opponent is screwed. Um, so I'll give you an example. Like Black Whirlwind. That card was broken for Black Wings at the time. I think they should bring it back now because Synchros are dying out. But obviously they want to make money off XCs. But at the time, Black Whirlwind was so broken, it it was run and freeze, and people were just dominated by it, and so they limited it. Likewise, Infernity Launcher. Infernity Launcher was Infernity's Whirlwind. They just ran free, and um, they raped. Um, I'm gonna go. Into, I'm gonna say Dragoonities. Uh, Dragoonities had the potential to be good. I just they just didn't get anything they need. But Dragon Ravine, I guess that was pretty good. Um, Six Sam's Gateway. The format with free Gateway and like free She and Smoke Signal was ridiculous. Gateway just completely smashed everybody. So that got limited, and uh, I guess you could say windups, hornets. They all have that card that's run and freeze, like hornet shark, whatever. So basically, for elemental heroes, it's super poly. And but this is a this is a bigger, bigger card. I would say that's because it's instant. You don't need to like search or anything. Like black whirlwind and flame launcher, you just have the special summon combo off that. But this is just straight up take their monster, and it's a quick play spell. So, they play a Zen mains, no problem, you play an alias, take, them, take it, make a Nova Master, beat him down, draw a card. And that's just, uh, I think that's a bit too broken, because just taking your mon opponent's monsters from, like, just like that, and they can't even negate it, you can't just be like, oh, Dark Gripe, or um, Solemn Warning, or Solemn Warning, or Fusion. You can't, you just, you get, you just get it. It's just like instant gratification, and like, um, basically, yeah, I think Super Poly will get hit. Maybe if not Miracle Fusions, just to slow them down a bit. I know not everybody runs Miracle Fusions, strangely enough, some might run Fusion Gate. But right now, those are the most popular variants. And, uh, what else did I want to talk about? Yeah, I guess that's the history and future for Elm of the Heroes, I think, in my opinion. Um, if I highly recommend the deck. Like, I played Dino Rabbit once with it, and it, I did alright. Um, yeah, so... Like I said, it's a discussion, so everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and I would like to hear your opinion, so just comment, rate, and discuss. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.